Gypsy moths are nothing new, but boy, are they back with a vengeance this year. Here in the Whitensville area, they're everywhere, covering every surface and unfortunately clinging to every leaf. A major infestation can do major damage. In fact, the caterpillars can defoliate an entire tree within 24 hours. Out in the middle of the state, the gypsy moth larvae have left many trees bare. They're not selective this year. Before, they were pretty much stuck to oaks and maples. We've seen them on oaks, maples, rhododendrons, hemlocks. Lawn and landscape expert Steve Isabel says right now the heaviest infestations are south of the Mass Pike, especially near the Connecticut and Rhode Island line. The Cape is also getting hit hard, and these little guys move fast. Within a week, they've, they've gone almost 20 miles just in the Uxbridge and Whitensville area alone. If you catch them early, you can probably save your trees with a roll of tin foil. Basically putting foil around the tree to prevent the caterpillars from climbing back to the top to do their feeding. And the ones that are already feeding on the top, when they come down, will not be able to get back up. Adding a layer of grease or Crisco to the foil makes it really slippery. You can also use Thuracide. You'll find it in your local hardware store. It's safe for your plants and trees and pets, but it spreads a bacteria that kills the gypsy moths. But at some point, you'll probably need to call in a professional. When it sounds like rain in your yard and it's not raining out and you're near the trees, then you know you have a heavy infestation. And oh yeah, don't forget to scrape off those egg sacs. Each one houses 500 to 1,500 larvae. In Whitensville, I'm Mary Salada, WCBB, New Center 5. And I